What am I eating? I'm eating ice cream mixed with ALA oil, flaxseed oil, mixed with shitloads of peanut butter, and some rice milk. Why can I drink this and be like this? It's because, well, I learned a technique today. Originally, I learned that sun gazing will suppress your appetite. And that's all well and good. But I don't want my appetite to really be suppressed just to drink water. So what did I learn today that makes you almost never hungry? Plus, it speeds you up so you are more toned and you're more muscular and you're more or less fat. How did I do this? Hmm. Maybe it was because I drank my pee today. You heard me right. I did not, like, stick my wiener in my mouth and suck the liquid out. No. I can't reach that far down. Oh, wait. I, yeah, I can next time. No, just kidding. Um, I got my mag. I said, hey, hey, can you really not drink urine? So I YouTube did. Apparently you can. And apparently it's been an ancient technique, an ancient thing to drink urine. It also clears your skin and makes your eyes more white. The white part of your eyes will be more white. So I tried that today. The thing is, when you're looping, my pee is completely clear. Like, there is no yellow, not even a tint of yellow in my pee. So I said, it can't be that weird for me to try it. Because if I'm consuming magnetic water, which is making me think faster, what is the harm in reusing the magnetic water? So pretty much, I did a shitload of things today. I worked on my book. I went to the store to get this bottle. Yeah, it was filled with stuff, and I poured it out. Because I don't like uh, cider. Wait, yes I do. Oh, that was a mistake. I thought it was that other thing. Fuck. That would have tasted really good. I should have drank that. Oh, well. So, yeah, I haven't eaten for... Time is about five, five hours. This is the first thing I've eaten in five hours. Like, I had tilapia for 11 o'clock breakfast. And apparently people distill their pee. As in, they put it in a jar. They leave it there. Then they use it later. I... Tomorrow, I'm going to bathe in pee. I know that sounds so wrong, but once you try it, it's not. Plus, I didn't fill, earlier, I didn't fill my entire water bottle with pee. I filled a tiny bit, so my body, my mind, would get used to drinking it. Like, in our society, we're told all of healthy things that help us. We're told, as children, that they hurt us. But people just don't like, think and say, hey, maybe I'll try it and see if that's true. No, they just say, oh, well, that, that they, they told us that it's bad, so we can't. Just like people who were born in the 50s, they were told marijuana is horrible for you. Surely it slows down your brain speed, but it helps kill cancer cells. Yet we were told that's bad because they couldn't tax it and make us pay for it, like alcohol. Alcohol's a drug. Cigarettes are a drug. So, I won't give her name, but I'm texting a really, really, really bitchy Christian girl. And let me tell you something. I love making videos on religion. Last night, I learned that a perception of God can be anything. You could look at a tree and it would be God. All God 
is is a perception. You are putting your trust in something that you can't see, so you have something to believe in, so you will get things. It's called the law of attraction to people who use logic. When you attract wealth into your life, you'll run into more people who will help you with that. Got it? And they'll, you'll start obtaining wealth. That's what I'm doing. Fuck. I'm doing a good job at it. Uh, instead of the people who just say, well, I hope, I hope I can, I hope I can uh, do good, but uh, 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 I, w I want to get rich, but they don't do anything about it. They just think about it. Be like, mm, I'm not going to put my plans into action. When you keep thinking about one certain subject, and then you do it, it will happen. I know it's so hard to believe for everyone. You don't, you don't need to call it God. The girl I was talking to, her name starts with an M, but I won't say her name. She's a psychopath Christian girl. Um, people put faith, faith, in God because God, uh, because they get things. That all they're doing, all Christian Christians are doing, is they're believing in something they want. They want to get off drugs. They want to stop smoking. They were abusive to their children, so they don't want to be. So what do they do? They hear a few nice words, and then they say, Oh, well, then I can change, because they just spat out, You can be forgiven. You can be forgiven. You can be forgiven. It's like me get, getting a piece of a tree and bringing it to a bunch of people and saying, Hey, if you look at this tree long enough, you'll get anything you want. You just have to think about it, visualize, and start working hard towards it. The tree will accept you. It's, it's like, don't you know what I'm saying? Do you get what I'm saying? Anything can be God. Anything that benefits someone in a way is a God. That's why so many people see one thing as a God. So many people see other things as a God. And they're all from stories. People need to start looking up to themselves, manipulating their subconscious like they're already doing, and saying, hey, I don't need to look up to anything. I just need to look up to myself, because that's who's doing everything. The psycho-Christian girl I was talking to said, there has to be a God. I knew people, and they wanted a kid, but they didn't have the money to get a kid. So then a, a caseworker said they'd give them a kid if, if they paid for it and took care of it. So they got a kid. Oh, my God. <laughs> That's the stupidest shit I've ever heard. When you focus on one thing, we want a kid, we want a kid, you're going to work as hard as possible and accept that reality into your reality. If you keep drinking alcohol and watching Netflix all the time, that's going to be your life. If you want to improve, then improve. That's what I mean. Let me read the message she just sent me. Oh, Cody, why do you think being Christian makes me close-minded because I don't join with everything else. This is fun to read. Out all of you nice people. But I won't say your name. Join in with everyone else and everyone else does. Maybe I don't want to. Maybe I've seen lots of negative effects of certain lifestyles. And I don't like... Okay. I met her dad when I liked her. And I found out she wouldn't date me because I'm not Christian, which is a stupid-ass reason to not date someone. So I met her dad, because you want to meet the girl's dad because she looks for a guy that's like her dad. Honestly, her dad drinks alcohol. So certain lifestyles... That's, that's kind of what some Christians do. They say, well, I, uh, I'm afraid because my, my parents drank alcohol, so now I can hide in my little, my little Christian bubble while I'll be protected by Jesus. And, and no one will hurt me because I go to a nice place. It's like, you don't have to be like your parents. 
surely a son or a grandson will see how his be around his mom or grandma like me throughout their life. But if a guy grows up around multiple different types of women, he has a bigger variety. He, he finds different other women more attractive because he grew up seeing different things. But when you're so crushed into a little Christian bubble, all you're going to want to do is date Christian people because they're in a little Christian bubble. <laughs> I like black girls, Mexican girls, Indian girls, every kind of girls. I even think albino girls are cute. The only body type I'm not attracted to, and my grandma, I won't say which one, is fat. It's a fact. And they say that you are attracted to you, what your parents look like, how your parents act. No, I like girls who have big tits, big ass, slim body. And if they don't have a perfectly slim body, that's okay. But if they're round and their faces are all chubby, like chub, sludge, chub, you're not attractive. You aren't. You never will be until you fix yourself. And if you say that there's nothing wrong with you, well, there is. You just don't want to fix it or take the time to fix it. That's the truth. Just like religious people, and you know what? I can consider myself semi-religious because I look at the sun and I'll sometimes even talk to it because it makes me more energetic and it makes my appetite suppressed so I don't get as hungry and it makes my skin darker and I get vitamin D and I get stronger. What's so wrong with that? You get what I mean? Everyone has something that they kind of look up to. Christians, it's just one big group of people who think of the same thing, even though Christianity was created by slave owners. Romans, Roman soldiers, Roman rulers needed ways to control the Jews. And they knew that the Jews had a certain leader thing that they looked up to, a story of a very strong, powerful Jew. So what did the Romans do? Because the Jews were stopping and not helping, not being slaves anymore. So what did they do? They worked with a Jew who told them things that were Jewish. They modified that story that all the Jewish people know about. And they made their leader a lover. If you ask anyone, anyone, any Christian, especially born-again Christians, things from the Bible. They won't know anything. Because when you go into a church, I've been to churches. Trust me, I grew up in churches. They will say a bunch of nice words, distract you with a bunch of jokes, read a little bit of the Bible, and then ask for money. Oh, and how is it not fucked up that we are drinking God's blood with wine, and we're eating his skin when you eat the crackers? How the fuck is that not fucked up? Oh, but me staring at the sun, that's satanic, right? People are retarded. That's a good way to put it. That is a great way to put it. Goodbye, everyone. Have a nice, sexy day and have lots and lots of sex in public. Have a good day.